Will you get down? Get down. Hey, get down. There's no driving today. <laughs> well, it looks like we've got our first baby for the year. Uh, black mama, black baby. At least the first baby that I've found. So we're going to see if we can ease up here and get a little better video over. Take a look at her. She's eating after birth right now. Hey, little blue. Just kind of walk to the side of her and pretend like we're not paying any attention to her because the baby is trying to nurse. So uh, I'm gonna ease up to this tree right here and see kind of what she does. To me, that looks like she's trying to cover it up since she didn't eat it or trying to disguise the afterbirth from the predators. I made a decision based on the only choice I had. I wasn't able to get the babies in and cut the billies or anything. So we just let the, the billies from last year service the does. It was the wrong time. It was gonna make it where they started kidding in April, which is not what we want because we try to do things in sync with nature and nature is the deer and the deer tells us they need to be fawning or kidding in late May, early June, which would mean you put the billies in in January, if I'm thinking of that right. So we put them in in basically late September, and they probably got the first breeding in in October. I'm trying to just real quick check these uh, check these babies and mamas, at least some of them, and they gotta get out of the road. Uh, gotta get them out of the road, ladies. Gotta get them out of the road now. Got one over here. I'm assuming that's yours. Meh. 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 Baby. Baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. There you go. Mmm. <gasps> I don't know how to get him to come. So he'll follow me. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. See if that's enough. Mm. Her mom will come get her now if I can get her. Get away from her without her seeing me. Now she'll probably go get them. You can't see them. They're so little. I'm gonna get on by here while I know that one's right there. She's off the road, the other one's off the road, so I'm gonna get on by. <coughs> All right, made it. Okay, here's the mama that had the one hanging out, and she lost it. It's there on the ground, but she had two more. So we'll let her stay. Good girl. All 
I don't want to spook her out of here, but I don't know if you can see that, that hole right back in there. That baby goat came out of there, and I think there's another one down in there to the left of it. This is a first time mama. She's wanting to leave right now, so I'm gonna back off. But there's Zena. We got her back down with the big herd now. This is the the first nursery. You kind of see a few of the babies here. What's funny is they, when it was doing all that rain, raining, they would all get under this cattle cattle guard. <laughs> <laughs> you come down through here and they'd stick their heads up through the spaces in those <laughs> pipes. Those babies don't know what to think. They're thinking that's a funny looking goat. See, this is late in the season, and we just had brand new twins in the pasture. So, you know, they're still kidding. It's just way, way late. The first one was in uh, early April, and this is mid to late May. That's just not what we want. We want them all to hit at the same time, and we want them all to hit in early June. can't believe that old nanny's letting him walk right up there and eat that afterbirth. There he eased in there and got him a little bit more. You know, it's a good thing if they'll clean that up if the goat doesn't. I watched a video on a guy that had been running sheep, I think in Wyoming for years, 20,000 head, and he gives a great explanation on, uh, you know what the the guard dogs do you know of course they're bonded with the goats or the sheep but they basically take the place of the of the coyote is what they're supposed to do so it's it's okay if they're cleaning that stuff up you know the the more of that stuff they get clean the less chance something's going to get it you know black vultures we've got black vultures here that are just they're predators uh, they're horrible uh, so it's it's a good thing that he's cleaning it up I'm surprised that he let her get that close. Normally those old nannies will come out and get them. I think I've got some footage of a, a nanny, you know, working her, possibly doing that to Red, maybe.